We'll start with Andrew Crane, then go to Patrick Gunn. John, was there any thinking that um, Army switched up defensively after you guys kind of exploded for the six goals in the opening quarter? I know Tucker got going early. Um, was there anything that Army really switched up that you guys could adjust? Not really. Um, you know, whether it was our picks on the offense or uh, they did a little bit of change up on, on who they shorted. And, uh, you know, they started out shorting Chase early. They did jump into a zone once, but we scored right away on it, so I, we didn't really see that the rest of the game. Um, so, no, I think it was, uh, you know, I think they adjusted and, and got more possessions off the faceoffs, I think especially in the uh, third quarter, uh, you know, which really helped their cause. But uh, I didn't see too much, too much change. Patrick Gunn. Hey, Coach. So, in this, also just kind of going on the second half on the defensive side, it looked like Army got a lot of clean looks on that, whether it's coming from transition shots or just some good cuts. So, what do you have to say about the defense and mainly the second half? Yeah, you know, they, they hurt us some different ways. I thought that, uh, uh, you know, us in the midfield, we did not, when we were on offense, we did not get back on defense. They had some numbers, and we knew that they would push the ball if they had numbers going from defense to offense. Uh, they were successful with that, and then even in our settled defense, we gave some easy backdoor cuts uh, from the inside. And it, you know, those are the kind of uh, that's the kind of offense, the kind of shots that a goalie just can't save. And I think, especially in the second quarter, their their goalie really uh, really adjusted. You know, to get six goals, I think it was six goals in the first quarter, and uh, and then we just went dry from there. And I think more possessions for Army. They're only making saves, and. Uh, you know, long possessions on offense, uh, making us play defense. We just haven't had the uh, the experience this time of year uh, to be able to adjust to that. Tyler Melito, coach, tough loss today. How do you bounce back after another? I guess another tough opponent against UVA next week. Yeah, well, you know, we're going to have to. Uh, uh, the guys are going to have to spend some time on film. Uh, you know, with COVID, we don't have the, uh, you know, the team gatherings, team meetings like we used to. So they're going to have to spend some time, uh, you know, instruction from the coaches. But you're going to really have to learn from that. It's really, we've got to take care of the ball. Um, it's just, uh, you know, with, with three weeks of practice, I was hoping that our, our experience from, you know, previous years would, would help us. Uh, but just not having scrimmages or any games coming into Army, and they've had some scrimmages and some games. You know, they they played like they have some experience, and, uh, you know, we, we played like we haven't had any. Roshan Fernandez. Uh, hey, Coach. I know Brent Kennedy was covering Brendan Nickturn for a lot of the game. How do you feel like he matched up against him? Um, I think he did okay. They did a good job picking for him and getting some mismatches. Uh, but I thought, Pritt, you know, Brett did pretty good in one-on-one -on -one situations. And uh, boy, as soon as as soon as we got it switched off on him, he took advantage of that right away, and, and he went right to the goal. Um, he very very good player. I think he's up for Patriot League Player of the, of the Year. So you, you could see why uh, he, he's their quarterback. He's their go-to guy, and um, you know he helps the rest of that team be better. Noah Cesarian. Hey, Coach, you know, Drake Warner, he's a big leader on this team this year and was last season as well, but didn't have his best game today and looked kind of dejected at times. Did you talk to him at all after the game about his performance? I haven't had much of a chance yet. Uh, he does a really good job of evaluating himself, and he's a goalie that doesn't, uh, you know, really doesn't dwell on the pass. So I, I know that he'll adjust. Uh, again, some of those shots, you know, with the ball being passed from behind the goal, he's got his back to the shooter, and some of those easy backdoor cuts where they're shooting from right off the crease, you, you, you don't you don't have a chance on those. And they got a couple of guys that can really sling it. Uh, you know, they get a couple of guys that really let the ball go. Um, you know, and, and uh, it's it's a, a nice combination. They were able to have a lot of possessions offensively, and we knew going down the stretch they were going to use 80 seconds at a time, and and uh, they just kind of. You know, it's just kind of bled the clock out. Aro? Uh, coach, scoring six goals in the first quarter, uh, what did you feel like was working for you guys um, in that first quarter, especially? Well, you know, I thought that, 
Um, you know, I thought we had a lot of early offense, almost to a fault. It was, uh, you know, we're winning faceoffs. Um, you know, I think out of the eight faceoffs, we won six of them in the in the first quarter, and that helped us put a lot of pressure on their defense. And um, I thought our offense was, you know, it was a little rushed, but uh, I wasn't complaining because of the, we were starting to put points up. Um, you know, and then, I, then like I said, I think the goalie in the second half really came alive and started to frustrate us. Um, and maybe it was the worst thing that happened, right? Getting that early lead, relaxing, and then, uh, and we know Army, you know, they're a well-coached team. They're going to play for 60 minutes, and, and they showed it today. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Lindsey Kramer. Sorry, hey, John. Uh, you have a lot of experience all over the field, but you do have some experience on, on defense. I'm just curious, as you saw Army get a lot of quality chances there, close range, what were you seeing, what specific breakdowns were you seeing that allowed them to get so many quality chances? Well, I think they started, uh, you know, especially number 20, getting some dodges early on and their middies in the, in the inverts, getting some, you know, dodging, and we didn't help out. And I think as a result, we felt we needed to help out a little bit more. We are going to have to slide to them. And uh, as a result, we were leaving early, and the crease wasn't being covered up. So they just they've got a really good looks, and that's, you know, very disappointing, and it doesn't help our goal at all when they're, when they're shooting from three and four yards. Um, and they just they ran their, their stuff, they knew their looks, and they did it well. You know. We talked a lot at the start of the season about expectations uh, among yourself and the players. It's one game, but just your thoughts about you know starting the season like this and what the biggest thing is you want your players to take from this. Well, uh, you know, it, 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 it's a lot about character, but it's I'm trying to figure out how we can adjust practice to get you know, to get a, a game experience, whether we have to scrimmage more or, or I'm not sure. You know, like I mentioned, I think this is our, we just finished our third week of practice. And, uh, you know, frankly, I think we played like it. Uh, you know, we, we normally have five weeks, uh, two or three scrimmage games under our belt and, and a few games before we normally play Army. And, uh, you know, I, I, I guess I'm making excuses, but they've had some scrimmages, they've had some games, and they, they played more experienced than we did. They were... They had more composure on the field. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, time for two more. We'll go back to Andrew Crane. John, bigger picture, just tied into the rest of the CDs. And is defensive depth kind of a concern for you? Uh, I know Nick came in when, when Grant was briefly injured, and he let up two goals, one on like the backdoor cut. It seemed like is defensive depth something that you think needs addressing kind of going forward? Uh, no, I'm not really worried about our depth. Uh, you know, we have some guys that are interchangeable. And, uh, you know, we ran four and five shorties today and uh, two, three poles. And we can bump, you know, Kennedy can go down lower, play up top. And we've got some other guys that didn't play. One guy, uh, you know, Wyckoff was uh, banged up and didn't play today. So um, I'm not really worried about our depth. I'm just, we have to get in the, we've got to get some experience quickly. And, and it's, uh, uh, especially with a team like UVA coming in that's had a lot of game experience under their belt coming into this game. So we got to really take care of the ball, uh, you know, start to eliminate our turnovers and value our possessions. For the last question, we'll go back to Patrick Gunn. And Coach, it felt like during this game there were a lot of shots, especially in the second half, that either hit the goal post or hit uh, Shepler's foot. So um, what do you say to that? And just hopefully it will help him for better luck next time. Well, I think a lot of our shots, um, went low early in the game, you know, in the six goals, uh, a few of them were down low. So we kind of trained the goalie, um, you know, to start going down his shots. He, he really, he, a couple of times, is making saves sitting down on the ground. Uh, and we wanted to put the ball more uh, up top as the game went on. And I thought, you know, a couple of us did a little better job with that, but a lot of us kept shooting low. And, uh, you know, we were playing into his, his strength at that point in time. Uh, so, you know, we need to, you know, we need to adjust to that. We did have a bunch of pipes. They had some pipes too, and uh, I think Tucker might have had three or four pipes in, in shooting the ball high. So, uh, you know, hoping next week they'll be on the inside pipe, not on the outside pipe.